If you're going out and drinking with your, your friends or you're just consuming media, you're not building anything, you're not creating, how can you be confident? How can you have an unshakable masculine frame? What's good YouTube? All right, today we're gonna talk about why she left you. Women leave men for all kinds of different reasons. There's physical reasons, emotional reasons. I wanna focus on a psychological aspect. Your psychological frame is your frame of reference. It's how you see the world. Every different person has their own way of viewing the world. And when people communicate, when people come together, there needs to be a consensus. There needs to be a psychological frame of reference that people adhere to. The most dominant person in the interaction will exert their psychological frame. It can be balanced and people can have a give and take, but especially in relationships. If, if your woman can break your frame, if she can say or do something that alters the way you feel and see the world and throw you off of your, your rational decision making, this is at the core of why she left you. She rattled you, she broke your frame. Her actions, her words destroyed your reality and you reacted emotionally. Once that happens, she cannot feel safe. She cannot feel secure in the relationship. Women are emotional creatures and they need to have a counterpart that is unemotional, unreactive. It doesn't mean you don't feel emotions. It doesn't mean you're a robot. It means you can control your emotions. You can feel one way and behave in a rational way. And women will subconsciously poke at your masculine frame and see if they can affect your way of seeing the world. They want to see if they can alter the way you see yourself, whether it's through nagging or criticism. These are all tests of your masculine frame. By reacting to it, you fail the test. You need to have your life in order. You need to be secure and confident in your abilities. Video games, drinking, drugs, hanging out. If you're going out and drinking with your, your friends or you're just consuming media, you're not building anything, you're not creating, how can you be confident? How can you have an unshakable masculine frame? You can't. Your behaviors and your habits led to where a woman can shake up your reality. You should be so secure in your worldview and your perspective. And being secure in it, in your psychological frame, that doesn't mean you're not open-minded, that doesn't mean you're not receptive to altering your beliefs and views. It just means that people can't mess with you. They can't say something to trigger you. For instance, this whole Will Smith slapping Chris Rock thing, that was his psychological frame breaking because he laughed when Chris Rock made the joke. And then as soon as he saw his woman was upset, it immediately altered his perceptions and he did something completely drastic and emotional. Jada broke his frame. At the core of any male-female relationship, the man should be leading. You can't lead your woman into happiness and growth and a fulfilling relationship if you don't have a strong masculine frame that, that other outside external forces can't tamper with. You did the internal work. You're consistently doing things that to build yourself internally, reading, meditating, uh, working out, building your business. And then comes your confidence. As, as soon as you let that slip, because this is what happened to me. Well, I was in a 12 year relationship. I had nothing pressuring me to, to step up and to, to achieve things. Because I already, I'm like, all right, I'm set. I got everything I need. And it was so comfortable and it just, I stopped doing the things to build myself. I lost focus. I lost inspiration, drive, ambition. It just all went away. It just became about pleasure and comfort. Comfort will kill you. It'll kill your relationship because why would you be confident and why would you be so sure of yourself 
if you know you're not doing the work, if you know in the back of your mind that you don't deserve these things. You can only keep that up for so long. You can only reap the benefits of your past actions for so long. As a man, you are supposed to perform and sacrifice and build yourself. This is your life. As soon as you slip up into comfort, chasing and pleasure seeking, it's a wrap. You're gonna lose everything you, you love, everything you hold dear and treasure is gonna be gone because you didn't earn it. You have to constantly work and earn the beautiful things in your life. You can't take it for granted. That's what happened to me. I took it for granted. I took my life for granted. I took my wife for granted. I thought, oh, I'm just amazing. <laughs> I'm just a, such a great guy and I, I deserve all these amazing things in my life. No. I mean, I had amazing things in my life because I did the work in the past. But then I got too comfortable. I got complacent. And I was like in a haze. I didn't see the signs. I didn't see like, hey, uh, I'm slipping up. I would mess up, make promises to my wife, and I would just go right back into my old ways. Your life is a storm that's passing by, and you cannot let the storm affect your internal state. You choose your internal state. You can affect how rigid and how strong this inner state is. The consistent work and the habits, the good habits. And just sacrificing, sacrificing momentary short-term pleasures for the long-term joy of being the man you want to be. I messed it up and now I'm suffering the consequences. Like everyone says, you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. And that's so true. So don't ignore reality. I would definitely recommend being sober. This is, a, this is huge and I'm still struggling with it now because these habits of just wanting to alter your, your mind, they're so ingrained. I know I started using drugs and alcohol when I was 16. My dad was an alcoholic and just just consuming consuming mind-altering substances, just changing your state to something more pleasant and happy. This cheap artificial happiness, it's gonna really do you in in the long term. She probably left you because you're not sober, you're not disciplined, and therefore you have a weak fr psychological frame that when she tests it, you react emotionally and she can no longer feel safe with you. She can no longer trust you to lead the relationship. Because if she, a woman, a hundred pound, five foot eight woman, can can break your your world and can shake you up and make you react, if she can do it, what chance do you have out there in the real world, which is way more scary than her? She's not thinking this, but this is like what she's feeling. Like, I can't trust this guy. He's too weak emotionally. I can, I can tr trigger him. I can make him act in irrational ways. If I can do it, if he can't even tolerate me, how can he do anything in the real world? Do the actions, do the daily discipline, sacrifice the vices, build the good habits, and over time, your masculine psychological frame will harden and get tougher and more resilient. And then if you ever communicate with your ex again, this will be a huge level up for you because women are intuitive. They can sense when a change has happened inside you by the way you act, the way you respond. You'll pass any test once you've done a long enough time, once you're committed to a lifetime of self-improvement, of building yourself internally, that will show. That will show when you communicate with people. Don't, don't focus on tactics and things to say. Focus on changing and upgrading your internal self, the way you see things, your, your values, and you don't bend or break for other people. Do the things I said. Read, meditate, do your hobbies, build your business, 
Focus on those things. Focus on all the things that bring a return in your life. Don't waste your precious time on this earth watching Netflix, playing video games, smoking weed, drinking. I, I did it. I wasted over a decade of my life doing that. I saw where that led me. And now I'm going to try to do things a little different. I'm still on my journey. Like this is the very beginning of my journey. Subscribe to this channel so you can see how things progress. I'm still learning. And as I learn lessons, I'm going to make these videos and hopefully help someone else in a similar situation. I'm not doing this for views or money. This is my service. The lessons that I've learned, especially recently, could help someone else. When I was going through my breakup, the only thing keeping me sane is watching other people who went through it and hearing their advice and just knowing that i'm not the only one this isn't the work this isn't the end of life like dude if a girl left you it, you really the first thing you got to realize it's not that serious i know it feels serious it feels like your world is crumbling around you and this is the worst thing that that's ever happened the emotional pain is real it's one of the most emotionally stressful things in life, probably the most, but it all depends on your perspective. People who have been through a lot of breakups, their perspective is such that they could quickly see things in a different light and it immediately changes how they live going forward. So you need to see reality for how it is and try to just clear this emotional fog that you're in right now. You're in the midst of it, you're in the thickness. Do journaling for a few days. Like when you wake up in the morning feeling like crap and just sad, just do some journaling, exercise. I know I was going to the gym like every day and that was the, <laughs> the time, time I spent in the gym is the only time in the day that I didn't feel lousy. The endorphins kick in and you just feel good. So exercise. Exercise until you feel good. There's another YouTuber, Wes Watson. He spent 10 years in prison. His advice for when you feel that pain, like deep in your heart, just start doing physical exercise. At the, in that very moment, start doing some push-ups, do some burpees, physically exert yourself. You can't feel emotional pain when you're physically exhausted. It's just impossible. Exercise is the only cure for how you feel right now. It's the only immediate thing that's gonna make you feel good right now. So try it out. The moment you feel that, that angst, that emotional agony in your heart, just immediately just start doing some push-ups, do some squats, and just keep on going until you feel better. Schedule your days so they're completely packed and you have no time. You, you're so busy doing things, you don't have the time to focus on the emotional pain. There should be times throughout the day where you just sit with it. You just feel how you feel and meditate. Get this person out of your mind. That's the only thing you can do because dwelling on the fantasies and the ideas, that's not helping you. That's only feeding your misery. So just distract yourself, watch a comedy movie, hang out with buddies, just, or don't. Like sometimes I feel like being alone and I'm just, other people just annoy me because I just want to wallow in misery. It's okay to wallow in misery sometimes. As long as you don't do it too long and you, don't miss opportunities or and you get your work done. Take like a half hour and just wallow. Why not? And then snap out of it, do some exercise. Keep it pushing. Remember, it's not that serious. No one's dead. Breakups happen all the time. This is part of life. Even though it feels like the worst thing in the world, you gotta see it rationally. It's not. There's a lot of opportunities for you now. Don't think about the past. Don't think about the future. Just focus on yourself right now. Do the work, do the exercise, read, just improve yourself, level up. This is it, this is the time. When someone leaves you, that's the trigger to level up now. Better late than never. Take this as a cue to do the things you should have done before. Figure out all the things that you contributed to the relationship to make it fail. And then think, what could I have done differently and now how could i have been differently how could i have changed myself so that this bad thing wouldn't have happened you can't go back in time and change yourself but you can make those changes now all right you guys that's it for today take it easy